So for this model demonstration, um, the instructor will be um, sharing this with the students to help them understand um, how the earth gets day and night, um, how the earth rotates to move different parts of the earth into day and night at different times of the clock, and um, figuring out which direction the earth rotates in. So this model is obviously not to scale, but this is our sun, which unfortunately is smaller than our earth. And our Lego person is standing on Massachusetts. So students are going to try to figure out what time of day it is for this setup. So when the sun's light is shining on this part of the earth, this part of the earth will be dark. So because this is the whole daytime side of earth and the person is standing in the middle of the daytime side, we're going to call this midday. And then this will be midnight. And this is midday. So now going between day and night, the earth rotates. So the person goes through all of those days and all those times of day. And the question to pose to the students is, does the earth rotate counterclockwise? when viewed from above, or does it rotate clockwise when viewed from above? So this is an important question that they can actually figure out from the model. And the way that we recommend students think about this is um, to consider whether they know people who are living in other parts of the world, and do they know what time it is in those parts of the world compared to us. So for example, if our Lego person's on Massachusetts and they have a friend in California, if they know that it is noon in Massachusetts, what time is it in California? So if it's noon in Massachusetts, it's gonna be 9 a.m. in California. So basically our Lego person has to see the sun rise before their California friend. So if it is nighttime for our Lego person, then if we turn the earth, then now Lego person will see the sun in Massachusetts first, and then their friend in California will see the sun. So it has to go this direction, which is counterclockwise if you're looking down from above. So this is the rotation direction of the earth, and then the revolution direction going around the sun is also counterclockwise. So now that we know um, that this is the direction, we can also identify other important times of day. So this is uh, midday for our Lego person, and this is midnight for our Lego person, and this is the daytime side, nighttime side. So there's a line here that is the day-night line. And when our Lego person rotates into that day-night line, they're on the nighttime side and about to go into the daytime side. So that makes it sunrise over here. Okay, so this is the daytime side. This is the nighttime side. So there's a line here dividing daytime and nighttime. And if I rotate the person to that location, they were on the daytime side and they are now about to be in the nighttime side. So this is their sunset location. So midday, sunset, midnight, sunrise. Midday, sunset, midnight, sunrise, midday, sunset, midnight, sunrise, midday.